Welcome back to the AppSci 450 News Broadcast. This evening, we have an exciting announcement regarding an upgrade project at Canada's largest ski resort. Just over one year ago, Whistler Blackcomb, owned by Vail Resorts, have announced a $66 million upgrade project to replace two older chairlifts with a new 10-person godlet. This is one of the single largest investments in Whistler Black Home's history and is designed to transport over 4,000 passengers per hour. The project is now in its final phase of construction and is on schedule to be fully commissioned for the winter season of 2018. It sure is an exciting prospect for all the winter sports enthusiasts in the Greater Vancouver area. Carry the one. Square root of the tangent divided by the reciprocal. What? Hey, that new braking device Bob proposed? I don't think it's going to be up to spec. Oh yeah, that doesn't look right. Hold on, let me check the manufacturer's specs. It says here it's only good for 3,000 people per hour. Yeah. Uh, how many did you say it was for? 4,000. Oh, yeah, that's not going to work. You should probably go talk to Bob about that. Yeah, good idea. Nine thousand one hundred. Hey Bob, can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah. Oh hey, you're the new EIT, right, Jason? I uh, know it's Donald, and I worked for you for two years. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. What do you mean? Uh, the new Whistler gondola is supposed to be for four thousand people per hour, right? Yeah, of course. Well, this new uh, braking device you propose is only good for three thousand people per hour. Yeah. Well, I mean, come on. It's a million dollars cheaper, and we're in the business of making money. It doesn't grow on trees. But this could hurt people and ruin the company's reputation. Look. Okay. It's approved. You don't know anything yet. You're just a kid. You got one job here and it's not to make decisions. So go back to your desk if you want to keep it. How'd it go with Bob? Well, he basically said that we're not changing it what? and that I should shut up about it or I'm going to lose my job. What? Uh, he said this new braking device saves a million dollars and says that money doesn't just grow on trees. Yeah, but saving a million dollars, I mean, it could fail, the braking system would fail, and people could die on this gondola, let alone replacing it is another $66 million. Yeah. So how is that even going to be helpful? I mean, will it encounter lawsuits? It could, the sky's the limit on the problems that this could cause. I know, it's, it's really bugging me. Like, I know I'm correct. I know this is a big issue, but I, I don't want to lose my job, and I, I'm not a whistleblower. The financial risk alone isn't enough to convince you? Think about the reputation of our company. Think about the reputation of Whistler Blackcomb as our client. They are a local and world-renowned resort. If this fails, I mean, we could potentially be losing a major contract for the rest of our careers here. I, I know you're right. It all makes sense, but this still seems really risky for me. Look, I know you don't want to be a whistleblower, but think of the oath you took when you got your iron ring. Yeah. You vowed to uphold society's considerations, to maintain professionalism, and to be ethical. Yeah. What Bob's considering here is completely unethical, yeah. right? Yeah. And if this fails, yeah. people could be seriously injured. That's huge. Yeah, and it will fail, I'm sure of that. Exactly, Donald, this trumps everything. Safety is paramount. Yeah, yeah you're right. I'll take it to Bob's boss, He's always done the right thing, not only for the company, but for the public as well. I'm sure he'll do the same thing now. I just hope I don't get caught in the crossfire. You won't. Come in. Hello, Mr. Lift. Do you have a couple minutes? Yeah, for sure. Sit down. So, I was looking over that new uh, braking device that Bob proposed for the Whistler Black Home Gondola, and I checked it over with Judith, and we both think that it's not going to hold up to the necessary load. So I took uh, my concerns to Bob, and he basically told me to ignore it because the monetary savings are too great. Uh, this doesn't sit well with me because as an engineering firm, it's our responsibility to protect the public. This, if it fails, it's going to cost a lot to replace, and it will hurt our company's reputation massively. Huh. Yeah, I was talking to Bob about this earlier, and I was very surprised about the financials of it because it seemed way too good to be true. Yeah. And I even gave him a bonus for it. Oh. But you know what? You did the right thing coming to me. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll put a stop to the project immediately. 